Stevens once wrote a song called Morning is Broken. It's a beautiful song. You know, morning is broken like the first morning. Blackbird is spoken like the first day. Praise for them singing, praise for them springing, praise for them hearing. I like mornings in some ways. But, you know, it's not just the morning that I like. I like all through the day and all through the night. Dwell in his promises, walk in his light. Darkness shall flee at his command. All through the day and night, we're in his hands. So, I like the fact that God created the morning and he created the day. He created you and he created me. He caused us to come into being. He allows us to see the sunrise and the sunset. So, from the beginning of the day to the end, we're told that all of creation praises the Lord and groans in travail waiting for the revelation of the sons of God. Are you being revealed today as a son and daughter of God? Are you being made known as one of His special, unique, distinctive, created beings that He's caused to come into the world in order to show forth His glory and His grace? Are you giving credit to God for what He has done in the world and in your life? Is this the day that the Lord has made? And you will rejoice and be glad in it, no matter what comes what may. I myself like to take it to God in prayer and to leave it there. Because I know that God can take care of everything that concerns me. That I have no higher, greater good or accomplishment to be done except for one thing. To walk in the name of His Son. And so today, I like to turn my mornings into joy, my mourning into dancing, my singing into perspective, and my direction back to God. Inspiration, not aspiration. You shall be used. The divine force of God by His Holy Spirit is never less but more. It is sufficient for all the work in the world. I only need to be the instrument for God to use. I only need to know that God is changing the world eventually into the image of what He created it to be. The world does not need supermen, but supernatural men, those that are dependent and filled by His Holy Spirit, and God has caused to be His light shining in the darkness. Men who persistently turn the self out of their lives and let God's Holy Spirit work through their lives. All the world would be saved tomorrow if only all the politicians would just let God use them for His glory. If God would let every man turn to Him for His will to be done. Let inspiration take the place of aspiration. All unemployment would cease. All hunger would be vanquished. All sorrows would be cast aside. For surely there would be the sound of sorrows gone, and the singing and dancing and gladness and mirth and joy of the revelation of the sons of God being revealed today as they are caring for my brother as he is that with which I see about me and I care for and keep their need. I have plenty of work to be done and always pay my work people well as you will see as more and more you get the right attitude of thought about working being mine only, saith Jesus Christ himself. For God said he would cause many to come into the harvest. Many would be workers of his. He would pay one for a penny in the morning, one at noon and one at night. For God desires that all of us should be participants in abiding in his presence and allowing him to cause us to become children of God so that we would touch the world in a way that it hasn't seen since the darkness of the night and behold this morning the light has come and we are the light of God. Go forth today in some way. Do something special today. Inspire someone.
for this is the day that the Lord has made. And you could rejoice in it by giving to someone else the inspiration you've received. 